Happy New Year to all of you. <laughs> Our reader, Dave Sylvester, he read at the 10 o'clock Mass at St. Joseph, Coriopolis, voted it down here to read and proclaim the Word of God, so hopefully we'll get a double portion of grace uh, today. Good to have you with us, Dave and Debbie. I was doing communion rounds this morning. I gave Holy Communion to a lady and ended up spending a good amount of time there. And she was telling me that she was putting up the Christmas decorations in her church and she had a fall and broke her hip. And she's been in mercy since December 22nd. And she said, but I'm grateful for the blessing watch the Mass on TV each day, and that a Eucharistic minister comes by and gives me Jesus each day, so that has outshined the darkness of my fall. On this first day of the year, Mother Church invites her children to the greatest honor of life, to come to pray in the house of God to worship, to give honor and praise to the first and best disciple of all, Jesus' mother, Mary. Of all the Marian celebrations of the church, the dedication of Mary, the most holy mother of God, is the oldest and the greatest. Drawing upon scriptural and patristic sources, it celebrates that Mary's role in the incarnation of the Messiah and in the redemption of the Savior places her with a special relationship with her son that is recognized and acknowledged as the model for all the church and all the church's children in every generation. The church teaches us that after Christ, Mary occupies the highest and the closest relationship to God because of her divine motherhood. Jesus was fully human and fully divine. And that son was born to Mary. The greatest praise we can give the Blessed Virgin is to address her loud and clear by the name that expresses her highest dignity, Mother of God. Holy Mary, most Mother of God, pray for us today as we make this pilgrimage in 2020. I don't know if you had the opportunity yesterday to watch Pope Francis in Rome for a Eucharistic hour of prayer, it was beautiful and powerful. And he spoke about Mary's indispensable role in God's plan of salvation. That for nine months, Mary carried God's Son in her womb, nurturing and caring our Lord. And her willingness and her selflessness and her courage is the model for all of us to nurture God's presence spiritually within the tabernacles of our hearts so that we can make known Jesus' love as Mary did. St. Philip Neri, who founded the Oratorians in the 16th century, he wrote a prayer about today's feast, and it says this, Mary, I love you. Mary, make me live in God. Make me live with God and for God. Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, pray for me and for the departed. Mary, Mother of God, be our helper. In every difficulty and distress of life, come to our aid, O Mary. O Queen of Heaven, lead us to eternal life with God. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Philip Mary wrote. Today, New Year's Day, is also by St. Paul VI in 1967. 
On the first day of the year, he dedicated it to the World Day of Prayer for Peace. So today we celebrate the 53rd World Day of Prayer for Peace. That weapons seem to have increased in power and pervasiveness throughout the world, haven't they? Many countries today are at war with one another. Many cities and neighborhoods and areas are ripped with violence that fracture the <coughs> unity of communities. Terrorists now threaten places of worship. And sometimes we've strayed far from the blessings of which Pope Paul VI enacted this glorious feast, the World Day of Prayer for Peace. That we would pray that God's promise of peace would be manifest not so much only around the world, but in our hearts. That we would join Mary, the Queen of Peace, in asking her son, the Prince of Peace, that we would be shalom peace bearers and harbingers in a new year. May each of us make a resolution to embrace the beatitude that Jesus gave on the Sermon of the Mount. Blessed are the peacemakers, meaning those active in making peace, for they are the highest children of God. The Amplified Version of the Bible says, those who bring peace to others are the highest children of God, says the Amplified Bible. Do you believe that? Buddha says, there's no greater words in the universe than the one word, peace. And the world needs peace. I encourage you to pick up some prayer, some resolutions on the back on your way out today, whether they're resolutions from Pope Francis or Mother Teresa. They can jar us and stir us in new ways. And so I close as we stand at the new year. Lord Jesus, may we give you our hands this year to do your work. May we give you our feet, Lord, to go your way. May we give you our eyes to see as you do. May we give you our tongue this year to speak your words. May we give you our mind that we, you may think in me. May you give us your spirit, Lord, that you may pray in us. And above all, give us your heart, Lord, that we may love in us to others. Give us yourself, Lord, that you may grow in me and I may grow in you. Lord Jesus, who live and work and pray each day of 2020 in me for the glory and the honor of God forever and ever. Amen.